Many people are not aware that there are different options for homeschooling. There's not one set way to homeschool. If you were to look at many different homeschooling families, you would see they all have their own way of doing it. I'm going to talk more about this, but for this post, I'm just going to be going over the difference between traditional homeschooling and distributed learning. I first want to state that the laws may not be the same in your area, so you need to do some research on your own local laws. First off, we're going to go over traditional homeschooling. With traditional homeschooling, you pick the learning materials, you design the schedule, you choose the learning method, and you compose the tests, and you lay out the projects. Everything is done by you. Everything is, the schedule is made by you. Homeschooling programs are not supervised by the B, supervised by a BC certified teacher. They are not required to meet provincial standards and they are not inspected by the Ministry of Education. Responsibilities of public school. The principal must register the child of any parent who wishes his or her child to be educated at home the school principal will offer to the homeschool child or their parents free of charge evaluation of assessment services to determine the child's educational progress in relation to students of similar age and ability. They will also provide the loan of educational resource materials authorized and recommended by the Ministry of Education and which in the school's district's opinion are sufficient to enable the child to pursue his or her educational program. The parent or homeschool child is free to accept or reject evaluation, assessment services, or the loan of re learning resources offered by the school. The school has no authority to approve or supervise the educational program of a homeschooled child. Responsibilities of an independent school. The independent school authority may determine if a particular independent school will register homeschooled children. The authority may also set a fee for the registration of a homeschooled child. An independent or independent distributed learning school may register a homeschooled child who resides anywhere in the province. They don't need to just be in that district. The school principal shall offer to the homeschooled child or the parents free of charge evaluation and assessment services normally offered to the student to the students at that independent school. Educational resource materials on loan, which the school believes are sufficient to enable the child to pursue his or her educational program. The school may require a deposit for the loan of such materials. Now we're going to talk a little bit about distributed learning. With distributed learning, your child will be assigned a teacher who will plan and deliver a course of study, select the resources and textbooks, follow students' progress, and provide a report card. You will regularly you will have regular online meetings with a teacher, and that teacher will assign you work to be completed in a set period of time and your child may have online classes they will need to participate in, you will have to follow the schedule set by the teacher and use the resources that teacher sets up for you. Here is a comparison chart going over some of the guidelines for each option. I hope this information helped inform you of your homeschool options. If you have a question or comment, let me know in the comments. In in my next post, I will be going over different styles of homeschooling.